Game of Thrones launched its prequel series House of the Dragon last year which was brilliant according to the show watchers. It contained the story of House Targaryen, 172 years before Queen Daenerys Targaryen. The story was taken from the book, Fire and Blood, written by George R. R. Martin. The show started on the 21st of August 2022, with the release of its first episode The Heirs of the Dragon and its final episode, The Black Queen aired on October 23, 2022. Many characters played the central roles like Rhaenyra Targaryen, Damon Targaryen, Alicent Hightower, Otto Hightower, Corlys Velaryon, Rhaenys Targaryen, and others. Among these strong main characters, some other characters were just introduced in the show. One of them was our younger prince, Lucerys Velaryon. Prince Lucerys Velaryon, also known as Luke, was the second-born son of Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen and her first husband, Sir Lanner Velaryon. He was a dragon rider whose dragon was Aurex. Like his brothers Jasseras and Joffrey, he had brown eyes and hair and a pug nose. This made many at court suspect that Sir Harwin Strong was their true father. In the last episode of the show, we saw that at the end, Lucerys Velaryon died after riding away from Storm's End when he was eaten mid-flight by Eamon Targaryen's dragon Vagar. Here, we take a quick overview of what happened in the final scene of the 10th episode. Queen Rhaenyra sends her two eldest sons, Jaceras and Lucerys, as envoys to Westeros to confirm the backing of prospective allies as they prepare to take action against the Greens. Luke goes to Storm's End, the ancestral seat of House Baratheon, on his dragon Arax, to meet with Lord Boros. However, he discovers that Eamon has already arrived, making a lavish offer of his betrothal to one of Lord Boros' daughters in exchange for Baratheon swords and bannermen promising fealty to King Aegon II. Unable to compete with this proposal, Luke is sent back home to Dragonstone. Eamon insists that Luke cut off his eye before leaving, precisely as he did to Eamon years ago. Boros stops the boys from pouring blood in his own home, and Luke rides Arax into the storm. Eamon and his dragon, Vagar, are on their tail, unbeknownst to him. He pursues them through the storm. Arax hits Vagar in the face with a flash of flames, and she goes rogue. Vagar disregards Eamon's commands to heed him and calm down, instead pursuing Arax above the skies. Vagar eventually takes Arax and Luke in her massive jaws, killing them both. Eamon's reaction here is one of shock and deep regret. He was even screaming no at Vagar when she chomped on his nephew and his dragon. This part of regret shown by Eamon is different from the books. How this happened in the show doesn't align with what is portrayed in the books. Some things are however different in the latter. Let's see how. When Lucerys was sent as a messenger to Storm's End, it was expected that Lord Boros Baratheon would give him a warm welcome, but Prince Eamon Targaryen had already arrived there on Vagar. When Boros refused to support the Blacks and told him to go home to tell his mother not to have expected the Lord of Storm's End to obey like a dog, before he could leave, Eamon drew his sword and told him he owed him a debt he now had to pay. However, Lord Baratheon intervened and his guards escorted Luke back to the castle yard where Arax waited amidst a terrible storm. Eamon grew outraged when Boros's daughter Maris mocked him, asking if Lucerys had removed his balls as well as his eye. When Eamon asked Boros's leave to go, Boros told him that he had no influence over what he did while not under Boros's roof, and allowed him to depart. Eamon mounted Vagar and pursued Luke. Arax was younger and faster, and on a quiet day, he might have been able to outfly his pursuer. But the weather hampered him, and Vagar was five times her opponent's size and the hardened survivor of a hundred battles. Above Shipbreaker Bay, the two dragons faced each other. According to Archmeister Jill Dane, if there was a fight it could not have lasted long. Arax fell, broken, to be engulfed by the bay's storm-lashed waters. Three days later, his head and neck washed up beneath the rocks at Storm's End. The body of Prince Lucerys was never discovered. Unlikely the show, it is shown that Prince Eamon killed Luke intentionally in the books and not because his dragon lost control in the middle of the fight. Eamon Targaryen was not greeted as a hero at King's Landing. Dowager Queen Alicent Hightower paled and begged the mother for forgiveness. Sir Otto Hightower, the King's Hand, was also displeased, telling Eamon, You only lost one eye. How could you be so blind? Eamon's brother King Egon II, on the other hand, welcomed him home with a great feast and declared that he had made a good beginning. On Dragonstone, Queen Rhaenyra Targaryen collapsed when told of her son Luke's death, and his younger brother Joffrey vowed a pledge of vengeance against Eamon and Boros. Luke's stepfather, Prince Damon Targaryen, avenged his death by sending blood and cheese to assassinate one of Egon's second sons. One thing is clear, with Luke's death, the matter of diplomacy no longer exists, and the war of fire and blood has started. 
the rest of the things to be seen in the upcoming second season of House of the Dragon. So, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please do us a favor. Like the video, share it with others, and also subscribe to the channel because the bigger the channel gets, the better and faster the videos will come. Thanks for watching the video.